torn paper landscape. The materials that you're going to need today are scrap pieces of paper, but we're going to talk about those. You will need a glue stick, scissors, a full sheet of construction paper for your background, and four different colors of torn paper. You can also use scrapbook paper if you have it. Let's take a look at what kind of papers we will need. We want to have at least one to two torn pieces of each one of these colors. One color for white snow, two colors for mountains, and one color for your trees. Take a look at the photo. Hit pause and get your materials. Now what we're going to do is we are going to be taking these four colors of torn paper. One will be the, for the trees. The next one is a mountain color. The next one is the snow, so it's white. And the last one is my second mountain color. We're only going to be using one mountain, one snow, and the second mountain for our first step. So let's get our background paper ready. My background paper is dark blue, and I have my purplish color and my green color of mountain paper. And they're kind of torn in a triangle shape. So that's what you want to do when you tear them, okay? Now I'm going to start making my first mountain. This is the mountain that's way, way, way far away in the background. So slightly down your paper, you're going to make your first hill or mountain. And I use two pieces of this color. Do you see how it goes the whole way across the page? It doesn't matter about the bottom part. It's the top edge that we're worried about. Take a look at it before you add yours. Now, using your second mountain color, you're going to create this one a little bit lower. And it should go the whole way across the paper. So we have our first mountain that's purple, our second mountain that's greenish color. The last step today, and this must cover the bottom of your paper, the, the background paper, is you're going to add snow. We should not see any blue paper peeking out in between those pieces. So right now I have three layers, the purple, the green, and at the very bottom I have the white for the snow. Let's take a look at how it looks when we're done. On the left, you'll see the finished project. However, there's edges that are a little bit bigger than the paper. So I'm going to flip my blue paper over and trim those off. Do you see how the purple's hanging off the edge? You can go ahead and trim those. And if you have any other papers, go ahead and trim those as well. The next step that we need to finish are the trees. So you're going to get your last torn paper. And for me, it was a very dark colored blackish green paper. So let's take a look at what I did for the trees. Using this last torn paper that you have, you're going to create three type of trees, small, medium, and large. Now I'm going to show you how these are going to be glued into the paper to show perspective. That shows distance in our pictures. Let's take a look. In a landscape, there's always a background, which is at the top of the paper. That's our first mountain. There's a midground that's in the middle of our paper. That's the greenish mountain. And there's the foreground. That's our snow. When things come closer to us, they get bigger. So the order of our trees are small, medium, then large. This shows that as you go back into the distance, things get smaller. Think about when you've been outside and you've seen things in the distance and how small they've gotten. That's perspective. When you're done cutting out your forest, you can go ahead and start gluing them down in this order. Congratulations, you just created a torn paper collage. You're done. Bup, bup, ba -dup, bup. Clean up. Don't forget. Please add it to week 20 on Artsonia.